All right, folks, welcome to this next lesson in the C++ series. My name is Mike, and let's go ahead and dive into it. So for this lesson, what I want to talk about is code editors and the idea that C++ is a compiled language, which might be new to you if you're coming from a background of Python or whatever. So what this means is you're going to need some code editor, and I don't care what it is. It could be Vim, which I'm going to use here in the terminal, or it could be something like Visual Studio Code, or if you're on Linux, there's a multitude that you could install. Kate happens to be a popular one. But the idea is I just need to be able to write some text here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in this uh, text editor here. In fact, let me go ahead and just open a file here called hello.cpp and you'll see that I've written this text here for our hello world. And the idea here, just so you have the high level idea, is I'll have this source code here. This is hello.cpp and that's got my actual text here that I can see on the screen here. And I'll pass this through a tool called a compiler and I'll just draw this as a box here, compiler. And there's many different ones, G++, Clang, uh, Microsoft Visual Studio has a compiler, MSVC, um, the Intel compiler, and so on. But the job of the compiler is to output some binary file here. And again, that's just machine code, which again, if you're coming from Python or maybe even Java or some of these other languages, you're not used to this. But the idea then is that we get a executable file here. So Windows users will see .exe extension. Other users will just see the program name. So if you're on Linux, dot slash program or dot slash whatever on a Mac as well. So also dot slash say program here for Mac and Linux users. Now, again, I'll go ahead and show how to uh, generate these actual files later on, but the lesson here or the takeaway is that every time we make a change to our source code, we have to resave this file here, pass it through our compiler, that's over here, and then get a new executable here that we execute. So let me just do one quick iteration and then I'll talk a little bit about what this program means in a future lesson after we get your environment set up for Windows, Linux, or Mac, and you can watch the appropriate video to do that. So let's just go ahead and say, hello, everyone, or hello, folks, as I like to say. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So you'll see that this file was written in the bottom left corner here. Let me go ahead and quit. I'll use a compiler. This one's called g++ pass in the file name and the executable that i want to output it as and usually i just do prog short for program and i'll hit enter here and dot slash prog here to execute on linux and you'll get the output of our program now of course if i want to uh, make a change to this file and let me go ahead and just open this in visual studio code so you see a different view of it so i'll just open this file up here and we'll see it. And let's say I just add, you know, whatever I want here, and then I try to execute the program. Again, the point of this lesson is uh, I can't do that. I have to make sure I go to File, Save, uh, or hit Control S. Uh, and even if I run again, it doesn't do anything. I have to recompile from scratch and run the program. And you'll see whatever the gibberish is that I typed in here, which I'm going to undo. So that means I need to recompile and rerun here. So you'll see the program here. Some IDEs and editors you can build into and have them uh, auto save, which might be useful if you're sort of forgetful, uh, or you can combine some of these steps sometimes uh, on Linux to make sure that every time you compile first before you run your program, and that'll be fine for most of the small examples that we do. There's other little tricks you can do to have build scripts that sort of automate every time this file changes to have it compile. Again, that's something you can Google, or maybe I can talk about more if you comment below. Uh, but that's the idea, and this is the takeaway of this lesson. C++ is a compiled language, and it's going to take your text files here, pass them through a tool called a compiler, that was G++ here, and then give you a binary file that you can execute and see your changes. So it might be a little bit of a different workflow, but I did want to just talk about what compilation means. C++ is a fully compiled language, and that's how we get a lot of our speed and performance. So let's go ahead and close it off here. And now you know a little bit about compilation with C++. So let's go ahead and get our environment set up, and then we'll continue learning a little bit more about the language.
All right, folks, see you in the next one.